one owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. And what I've got here for you today is a beautiful one owner Mercedes Benz. It's a 1990 Mercedes Benz 560 SEL. I love these W126 cars. And lately I've kind of got in the thick of them. And I don't know if I've got seven or nine right now, but I've got a lot of them. Check my channel and you can see some others. This one owner 560 SEL only has about 91,000 original miles. Don't quote me, it could be 94. I gotta get inside to see. Um, I'm gonna do a quick walk around, kinda show you the car and its whole long door status. And then when we're done with that, I'll take and show you underneath a couple places and we'll run up down the road here and do a test drive. And then I'll go ahead and take you up to the house and get you in the garage halfway to where we got some shade and show you the interior. Um, windy day. Hope that don't mess up my voice too much here. Sorry if it does. Um, we'll just keep going around this thing. Now, like I say, my website, oneownercarguy.com. You can check out lots of one and two owner classic Euro and muscle cars on there. And I do a lot of these W126s, 140s, 123s, 124s. Oh man, I do them all. Um, I actually just looked at a 63 um, 220SE, the coupe, this morning. Should be getting that one in in a week or so. Um, so, Mercedes Benz, check my site. There'll be about 60 pictures of this one on there in about a week or so from when I upload this. So, Nathan, 406 544 6919. You can reach me absolutely anytime. And I'm going to go up close and show you any minor damages or anything like that. And, man, beautiful car. Okay, I'll start back here since this is the most obvious. He brushed against something and scraped it a little right there and it just kind of cracked his paint. And a guy could kind of flick this down to uh, sand it smooth and they make this exact color match that you could spray it. I don't like to do anything to them. I like to leave it just like it is to where you've got original thing. Um, dings, there's a couple dings, like there's a tiny ding right there it's black, so it's a little easier for me to pick them out. There's a tiny two of them. And I have a ding guy. A dingy guy. Oh, wait, right there. Right there. Right there. And he says he could take them out, man, and look perfect, and this and that. There's a ding there. Well, 10, 15% of them come back. There's a ding there. And I don't want to have anything to do with making it dingy. Ha! Got a little dust on it sitting there. A couple of white scuffs, which you can see right there. Um, there's a chip right there. And a couple small scratches, which you can see on there. And you really got to get up like six inches foot from it to see them. A couple of light ones right in there, too. But you notice and I like I say I'm not gonna be the one to cut in and I got a body uh, guy working and like pfft, what am I gonna do I, I could cut in and paint the hood it'd be cheap do it for a couple hundred bucks oh I seen that when I was getting down there ding right there There's another one over here I think yep right there and a guy's mr. paintless ding guy get that right out but Leave you something to do, right? I don't make them perfect. I'm the redneck at the end of the cul-de-sac. Not the guy with the beautiful, huge lot that has 15 sales guys waiting to attack when you show up. Um, you see the paint, the underneath paint coating chipped on that. Now you can see on this, check this out, the wheel wells. The original body color wheel wells. Got all the original, um, what am I trying to think of? Undercoating. It's all rubberized undercoating under there. Oh man, nice. I won't say new, but he just put them on a while ago. Little titties everywhere. Nice, newer, fresh, um, Goodyear Integrities, and they're great tires. This car rides beautifully. Um, and you know, it's got the factory windshield. Um, 
your lights that are usually all stress cracked and everything, well, these here are not all stress cracked and everything. So that's pretty cool. Not really scuffed, but you got a little scuff there. Let me scuff some. Okay. Here's what I like showing us the underneath. It's real clean. I haven't been able to crawl all the way up underneath these things lately. I'm just a tad bit injured on my back. There we go. Come on, this stuff's hot too. <laughs> Ground's hot. Woo! Wear shorts and a short sleeve shirt. Okay, let's see here. The last one I'll show is up under here. There's your tranny pan. Come on, tranny pan. Low level light adjustment. There we go. I like to really show, and it takes a second. You might find a damn gasket or something somewhere. But it don't leak all over, and I just repaired it. Power steering hose, I think it was, was the main thing. God, it's a beautiful car. Nathan, 406-544-6919. Now, it's a California car, and I go back and forth, and I take these all back to, as many as I can, back to Montana. We never got cars like this um, in Montana. And the few we did left lightly discolored. Like I say, I'd buy a can of the matching, tape it all off, and do it to it. And I can anything I mention, I can usually have it all done for you pretty cheap. It just takes, you know, it could add on some days of waiting for your car. A couple of little light scratches there. And I'm pretty picky at wanting to show any kind of a light scuffy scratch I see. Eh, that was a leaf or something. Look at this. Top's in great shape. I believe the man had it garaged. Um, you don't have any of the discoloration and hard water spots on all this that you get. The chrome is just absolutely beautiful. Just absolutely beautiful. All the way around it. Um, third light is not all cracked out like they get. It's in good shape. Um, antenna, it goes up most of the way. It's like, it should go up yay much more or so yay much but your surround is out that little rubber grommet and it's actually could be popped down in there but the grommet and the antenna doesn't go down all the way so it's a perfect guy could buy if you wanted to ah that was some kind of residue lenses are great and i do a lot of these and nice lenses is pretty rare in it it is one area that usually takes a little bit of beating is the lenses. They just kind of crack up a little bit. <laughs> no, not like that. Okay, man, look down the side of this car. Beautiful. Uh, there was some small ding right there. Okay. Oh, and there's one here. I wonder if I can show you this. Sure can. Original um, plastic sleeve, original hang tag for the cruise control, hang tag for the climate control, uh, dealer directory. Now, I had somebody put this in here and um, somebody spilled a drink on this or something. Now, it still opens up and shows all the things you need to see on that part, but I don't remember if it was more than just. I think that is the only page that is on... Oh, no, there's a, another page you're not going to be able to see. The owner's manual is, however, all there. and It's not stuck together. This one has some light staining on the back type thing, but it's all good. It opens up and is readable. Um, the services were really close on this one, and we caught them up. Um, I had my guy... Come on, hang on here. Catch them up. Ooh, that's what I was looking uh, Sorry. Even replaced this guy, even replaced the coolant back in 93. Three years old. So he did a lot of the services. You don't see the back ones in the book checked all the time. 
Don't know if you want to see that, but now you have. Odd, have this, but it's not in the car. Um, and it came with it because of that. One owner scored a 73 out of a possible 15 at 36. So more than twice the um, actual... Oh yeah, the radio card. I feel I um, filled that into the little code reader and got the radio because I had to swap the battery. And um, here's your mileages. All checks out. It hasn't been driven in the past few years, and I get that a lot on these where people just don't drive them as much for the last few. Look at the foam. Absolutely beautiful under here. Um, the spare tire, I um, had a, um, just I cleaned it. There we go. <laughs> had to take it out. It's actually in the back of my Lincoln. I brought it over to put it in here and didn't get that far. Well, that is your once around, your twice around, the round downtown around round and stuff. And it's a beautiful W56. And I love them in black. And I'm hoping you can hear me over the whatever's going on here with this wind. Uh, my name's Nathan, 406-544-6919. You can reach me absolutely anytime. And other than that, I'm going to take off and take you down the road and show you how it does. And um, that's about all there is to say. www.oneownercarguy.com and check out the 60 pictures and the video, which you've already seen, on there. I take my pictures up here every time. And the people just don't get my hood ornament exactly straight. There we go. Gotta get that thing on. Um, beautiful on this. They're usually very faded. But the body cladding down here, molding, whatever, a little chip. Hey, I'm glad I leaned down there again. These tires. Just amazing. There it is here, beautiful. Now my camera, I can feel it getting warm in my hand. So, meaning, looks like it's probably gonna my camera stop on me. If that happens, we'll put the, um, interior in in the second part. I'll clip it in. So, I'm going to take off on the test drive here. It is a great drive. These 560s have lots of power. I mean, just a little third throttle and you're just going like it ain't, like it ain't no thing. I guess that's what I say and, you know, I just can't get around not saying it. I try not to sometimes. But, yeah, my camera is getting very warm in my hand. So I think it's going to be just about done. So, yep, 24 seconds. Well, I'm going to go ahead and go up farther than I usually do. And at least give you the test drive. Beautiful car. Wish I could take you on the highway. These cars are highway driving cars, buddy. That's all there is to say about them. Well, I'll clip the interior here in a... Well, back here at you, and um, wow, 91.676. And I'm gonna do a interior review now, and just kinda go around and show you. This is gonna sound pretty standard, the interior. And actually, I'm gonna close the door here while we do this part, where that goes off, okay. Those are all good. Um, the sunroof works fine. In fact, I'll leave it open. Oh, wait. Oh, actually, I want to show you that the headliner's in great shape. And then we'll go ahead and take that back. And those lights are on because the key's on, of course. Um, radio's good. And Panic. To combat organized Ooh, crime, buddy. piracy will be prosecuted. Sorry, I flipped that back around so fast. Antenna goes up about three-quarter way. 
three quarter way, huh? SRS airbags on both sides. Yeah, buddy. <clears throat> this is towards the end of the years that they made these W126s. There's your back. There's your forward. Front up. Front down. Back up. Back down. Recline. Oh, you can tell there. And headrest. How are we going to do this? That's that. Now this piece here, these things come off right in there. And you can just shove it back in, but it's not going to stay. This piece needs to actually have it rewrapped, and it's very easy. But the piece has to come off, and you have to take this piece of... You have to kind of get into the molding a little bit. And I can have it done. It's no big deal if you wanted it done. Um, but I leave stuff like that, usually. Um, adjustable seatbelt thingy there. One of the only cars I know of that has the old crap handle, that's PG for you there, on the driver's side. Um, these clips, what happens is, you see the screw in there, it pulls through that little piece right there, and you usually remove that piece and screw them up onto there. Boom, boom. But it's kind of needs a piece that you could screw in. This one's the same way, just so you know. In fact, that one is broken. And those are very cheap on eBay. The lights are not coming on in that, and it's usually in this thing here. Oh, they have to be grounded out to this thing, I think, to make it work. Yes, there we go. And it's only grounded out to this one and not this one. I bet you could get them both. You just got to pull that piece farther. So, that's your issue there. That'll all work good. Now, the bottom of the mirror, look at that piece. Right on. And I almost missed it, but that plastic piece is like that. Nothing that's needed. But I've got a 91,000 mile car here. I'm going to show you everything about it. Dash is in great shape. Look at that. Beautiful. Um, heated seats and all are good. Um, just showed you the windows. Oh, it goes up, goes down to a certain amount. So once you get it where you want it, you're all good. In and out, it goes out and goes into a certain point. Bam, all the way working good. I think what happened here actually now that I'm thinking about this and I'm gonna go over here and check this out right now man they're, they're nice seem to be on there right Okay, let me check it out over here. <clears throat> Not exactly where I like it adjusted to. It seems like the mirror might, it is, it's off by just a tad. You can see that seal there, I'll show you. And the ashtray wood, piece right there. things missing and the tray part and somebody had a Sony that makes sense now I was like dang it that was a registration slip it's like dang it there's a Sony thing but it's not a Sony deck well there you go Sony now this works and you can undo it but when you pull it back that piece slides falls down like they do so, if you hold it up until it goes forward, it works fine. Uh-oh, somebody texting to get the car. Nathan, 406-544-6919. You can reach me anytime. Um, if I ain't up, I won't answer. I'll call you back. Beautiful car. I love the old 
little door panels on these. Is this light just hanging just a tad sometimes when you slam a door too hard or something maybe? Um, psh, carpets are beautiful. Ain't nowhere on the pedals. Look at this. Just absolutely beautiful. I love these floor mats. That's aftermarket. I didn't get them in there. Aftermarket factory, I guess you'd call them. We didn't get them in there exactly the way they should be. Um, I don't know if that thing's like a factory hole there. I'm not sure. It's there, however. Underneath. Oh, man, look at there. Oh, mat lock. Tight thing. That clips on there to keep them down. Clean car. <clears throat> a little scuff there. But take a look at that. Turn the key off for my. I'm gonna leave the key on. This one seems to slip out. Like the clip is a little loose. I'm not gonna glue it or something, you know. Oh yeah, the foot feet thing. Pretty cool stuff. Factory dealer. Gold coin. Gold coin. Little mark there. Backs and fronts of the seats and headliners, just absolutely beautiful. Same thing happens on that one. Let's see here. Recline. There's a heater. This is the one. It is very, very comfortable, to say the least. Um, I don't think this switch over here is working, though. It's probably not grounded correctly, the way that switch is in there. Um, did I show you in the trunk? I think I did, because I remember talking about... That's what I mean by... It just don't go all the way down. I think it's got a slight bend in it. And you could force it, but I'm not gonna. And it comes up about yay far. Yay far, huh? Yeah, yay far. Yay far. That's like a name, man. Yeah, I think I showed you this. One owner... Out of 15 to 36, it scored a 73. Great car. Beautiful car. Package trays in great shape. And your medical kit is in here. There we go. It's warm. I'm just gonna take this out here. Show you it's clean. Do more work for them to box this up in a second. Because I'm not gonna have time. I'm running out of time on my video. And underneath here is in great shape. That's just a little dust thing. Um you can see where the switch is. This needs to be brought out. And this one was not in far enough. Okay, we're gonna have to do this in a second because as you can see, that clip there wasn't in the side far enough. And the top one is kind of broken. So I'm sure you can get it slid back into there. And I'm gonna do that later to where I don't mess it up. But it's going to have to have a clip at some point if you want it to stay. I can get it in there solid. If you want to put a little glue right there, that'd be fine. But I I think this switch cost you 20 bucks or so on eBay. other one works fine. You get it in there even and don't need to recline the back seats. Mommy, I can't recline my back seat. Shut up and drink your milk. I think that's what I would have been told. They would have bullied me. There you go. And... And finally... Come on now. 
I've got about three minutes left. Look at that. Hardly any wear at all. Dust from my shoes. Oh, wow. Turn this back on. Learning new things every day. Look at this. And it works fine. In and out telescopic with no tilt. I think they kind of went on the pretense. Well, you can tilt your seat, right? I think I mentioned it before, two factory glass. Yeah, baby. <coughs> okay. Here we go. Look at the hood insulation, hood lining, whatever you want to call it there. Just beautiful. Beautiful. A little bit loose. A guy might want to... I've had them before poke holes and spray adhesive in there and to kind of keep it from falling off. But it's not falling off around the edges or anything. Great shape. Look at it nice and black. Look at this motor. Arguably one of the best big, big blah, 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 blah. one of the best big blocks they ever made. And a lot of people would edit that when you do a screw up. Come on. This is real stuff here. I'm not non mistakable here. There's mistakes being made all the time, believe me. And if I had the time to edit that out and save face a little, I don't even know if I would. I got other stuff I'd rather do. So you see how clean it is. Just a beautiful car. Plus 90,000 miles. Check out the pictures on the site. One owner, carguy.com. And I just ain't going to have a, more than one minute left here. That's what I got. Oh, okay now. We get it all black in the sun. Not back in the sun. Black in the sun. When you um, step on your brake good and hard, your thingy thing will come on. Brake lining wear. So they could be getting close there. And it also could just be the sensor wire a little loose. Well, that's your once around, your twice around, your look at your stinking beautiful Goodyear wheels. Tires, I mean. My name's Nathan. 406-544-6919. Beautiful W126. I lost you on the test drive, so I'm just going to give you another shot at it. As we go back to the house, I'm done for the day. i got to place some ads here. So I figured might as well give you a little bit more of a, I almost put that down too hard there. Put it more than about a third and it's about too much. I mean, you're right up to 40 right now. Uh, it's a great driver. If there's any questions on it, my name's Nathan. It's 406-544, there goes my mom, 6919. There goes my mom is not involved in that. You don't have to dial that. It's just 406-544-6919. Now we're gonna try not to scare this lady rolling up behind her left breath. <laughs> Creeping or something. We U-turn in here is what we're doing. See so land that he's stinking peel out. It's just right up to the speed limit. Beautiful car. www.oneownercarguy.com. Check that out. Absolutely love the stuff on there. And wow, I don't know what else to tell you. I got 23 seconds left. Oh, Euro model 735 there. This Impreza coming up is only 33,000 original miles. Well, I didn't know if I was going to like my outro there, so I figured I'd retake an ending little piece for a minute here and just in case type of deal. Beautiful W126, one owner, 90,000 original miles. Call me anytime, Nathan, 
6919. Thanks for watching. Import, export, I will ship this to any port in the world. Let me know. I've done a lot and will be glad to help you. Um, that, that's you calling me right now. Bam. Well, I'll let you go and I'm going to grab this and sell you this car. Thanks for watching. Call anytime.